hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a valentine's day look i have already done a more kind of pinky vibe look on my instagram but today i really want to go for a nice kind of sexy smoked out wing with a bold lip that's just what i'm feeling right now so i've got my hair scraped back i've got my hoops in i've got a cute little top on not that you can really see it <laughs> so i want a nice hydrated skin to put makeup over because i just think it looks so much better so i'm going to use my hydrating primer from fenty I take a fair amount of that. I've already done my skincare and everything. I really want to go for a full coverage look today, so I'm going to take the Faux Filter Luminous Matte Foundation from Huda Beauty. I've been loving this recently. I did a review of the foundation on my channel if you want to watch that. I love to use a brush with like any foundation at the moment, and specifically the 110 foundation brush from Fenty. Alright, so I did about one and a half pumps and that covered my entire face. I just like to go over with a damp sponge afterwards to make sure that everything's nicely blended. Next up, I'm going to take a bit of the Tantor from Huda Beauty. This is in the shade Light and I actually like to go straight in with the sponge, pick up some of the product and then I just kind of um, blend that on the back of my hand a little bit and then take that straight on the face. This will just give us a bit of warmth, a bit of contour. And it's really nice if you're trying to go for like a full glam look to add a bit of cream contour because it just makes it so much more long lasting as well. So for concealer, I'm actually going to take a mix of two. I'm first going to use the Instant Retouch Concealer from Fenty directly under the eyes just to get that nice little bit of coverage. And then I'm going to go in with the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer in shade, what is this, L34 Light. Um, because it's just a little bit on the lighter side um, compared to the Fenty one, so it'll just brighten it a little bit more. I'm just going to add a little bit of the Fenty one right there and using Fenty Concealer Brush, the 180 Concealer Brush. I'm just going to blend that directly where I get darkness. And this will just give us the extra bit of coverage we need. Then I'm going to take the, Fen the Flower Beauty. Oh my god, I'm so used to saying Fenty. Now I only put concealer where I want to lift and brighten. You do not need to do that triangle, it's just a waste of product. Amazing, now that we've got all of that down, I wanna go in with a little bit of cream blush just to make it really nice and long lasting. I'm gonna use the uh, Crush on Cupid Cream Blush from Fenty Beauty. And I'm gonna take the 125 Face Brush from Fenty as well. So as per usual, I'm gonna use the uh, Pro Filter Setting Powder from Fenty. Can you tell that I love me a bit of Fenty? Honestly, you can't get enough. Just getting rid of any of those uh, creases underneath the eye. Quickly set that with some powder. Boom and boom. I always lightly set before baking. If you are dry, do not bake. If you're oily like me, baking is your best friend. Now when it comes to the rest of my face, I have been obsessed with the Fenty Soft Matte Powder Foundation. Obviously you don't need to do this. If you want it to be um, really full coverage, this is like the best way to set your liquid foundation. It's just so flawless. I'm obsessed. You can just use some translucent powder if you don't want the extra coverage. Another trick as well, which is like totally extra, you do not need to do this, um, but I love the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I use the shade Light and I pick some up and I just stipple again, stipple that into these areas. That will take away any flashback if you're doing like flash photography. Don't know what it does, but it like blows your pores. It's amazing. Live for it. So I'm going to use the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlight. I just like to go down the bridge of the nose and the tip. Then taking my Anastasia A23 brush, I'm just gonna pop that on the top of the cheekbone. Just a little bit. And then for blush, I'm gonna go for my favorite blush ever, which is the HMB Cosmetics Feeling Peachy Blush. Oh, she's looking cute. She's 
just looking cute, we're getting there. I really want to do a nice winged out kind of smoky look. Um, I think actually a smoky wing, a black smoky wing would be really cute with some like browns in there. So I'm going to use the Vive Essential palette, which pretty much has all the shades that I need. Oh, it has a nice black in there, it has some different brown shades and nice transition shades as well. So starting off with the black pencil liner, I'm just going to draw the kind of um, outline of my wing and then we can start um, smudging it and shading it and adding in our eyeshadows. So now that we have the base of the wing, I'm just going to use a really small pencil brush. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill 39 brush and I'm just going to smudge it, start to kind of blend it. So now I'm going to go in with the black eyeshadow in the Essential palette from Vive and it is the shade called Goodnight. It's basically going to set that liner in place and help to blend as well. Doesn't matter if you're kind of messy in the outer corner because we're going to clean that up at the end anyway. Now we're going to switch up the brush to a more fluffy pencil brush. This is a really old one, the name's rubbed off and so is the brand so I'm really sorry I can't tell you what it is. But I'm going to use the shade Delicious. So I'm going to bypass Lava Rock and go straight to Delicious because I want it to be a bit warmer. Now before we move on with um, any more of the eye, I just want to clean up that outer portion a little bit. Because um, as you can see here, it's gotten a little bit messy. So I've just popped a bit of concealer on the back of my hand. I'm using this brush, which is the Morphe M432 brush. It's a nice little flat brush. And it will just help us clean up that outer corner a bit. Let me chuck my bronzer on quickly. This is the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. I really love taking this into this front portion here, right at the front of the brow, and it just connects everything. So I'm going to put a little bit of colour in the crease, just a tad. I'm going to use the shade Buff, which is my favourite transition shade from this palette, and I'm keeping that right in the upper portion of the crease. Then lastly I'm going to take a bit of So Shy, which is the kind of creamy shade. I'm going to use this as like my inner corner highlight as well. As you can see I just added a bit of colour to my lower lash line and added some black pencil to my waterline as well just to finish that off. I'm going to use the Physicians for Formula Lash Mixologist Mascara, it's a bit of a mouthful. It's a really really nice mascara, it reminds me of the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes actually because it has the two sides as well to help kind of build your lashes. Um, and then I'm going to go with some falsies as well because if you're going for a dramatic, full coverage, sexy look, you need some sexy lashes in your life. So I'm going to go in with the Cara Beauty Fabulous Lashes. Um, this is the style A13 and they are so lovely and wispy on the outer corner and that's just what I need in my life right now. These were just the lashes that I needed in my life. So they not just like make such a difference with this eyeshadow look. Now all we've got to do now is a lip. I'm going to go for a red lip today. It's the Fenty Stunner Lip Paint in Uncensored. This is my favourite red of all time. I'm going to line my lips with Laura Mercier Ruby Lip Liner. And then the last step to finish this look off is a little bit of setting spray. The Continuous Setting Mist from Morphe is my favourite. It's just the best. So I did just have to switch up my hair because I was not feeling the updo situation. And I feel like I'm just so obsessed with this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope you have an amazing Valentine's Day, whatever you're doing. If you're in the UK, you're probably going to be at home. But you know, you can FaceTime your girls or your man or whatever. Um, but if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. 
Um, and then apart from that, I think I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.